Hello everyone, welcome to AfriStar. The city of Abuja had the first taste of AfriStar's hunt for the finest acting talent. Audition was held at Silverbed Entertainment Center, we we'll say. Here is the part two. Enjoy. My name is Titi Lokwe Mogaji. I am 25 years old. <laughs> oh, sweet mother. You know, you know what? The award of the best mother in the world goes to Madam Clara, a round of applause. Oh, come on. Clap and smile now. Of course. You should bury your head in shame, soak your dress with tears of disgrace, and you enjoy the ridiculous tears of mucus coming out of your nose. Because I need to understand one thing. What kind of a mother leaves a one-week-old baby in the cold and gets the courage to walk away? The same child you carried in your womb for nine months? You, you left a man who loved you for a man you loved, and that's supposed to be my fault. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot to gist to how well I have grown. A timid recreative artist in her 20s who grew up hiding away from the world and can't even make friends because you know what? I still bled weight. Due to the constant molestations I faced as a child at an orphanage, all thanks to this same caring mother of mine. The only way I can ever bring myself to forgive you is just to forget about you. <sighs> Hello, my name is Amaka Wonkocha. I'm 25 years old. Smile pretty, Alice. We both know one thing, the truth. We both know what you've done. Your husband, a good man at that, will never come to realize the louse that you are. A true whore. <laughs> it's what you are. You think it's okay to spread your legs for that other fellow? You think it's excusable? Have you rationalized this in your head? Or have you justified it in the face of God? You call yourself a holy woman. Rubbish. You know, the day is coming when the truth will be told. It will be told. Sadly, not from my lips. My name is Alberta Sego. I'm 33 years old. Megida, look, I'm so sorry. If I had known Sara to take in Zayan from you, would do that to you, I would have helped you. Sayat Kuna. I know you feel like I did everything I needed to do to help you. But the truth is, I helped Sada to hide Zion for you. I'm so sorry. Kaya Akurida Allah. I thought I was doing what was best for us, for our family. I'm so sorry. Hello, my name is Inyene Edem and I am 32 years old. They come in the night. Always at night. You don't hear them coming. They break families. You hear stories. They kill fathers in front of mothers. They kill children. Old people. Sick people. Large people, they dig graves. People who were alive, they throw it in them. You can't hide. They point a gun to my head. They took my family, they pawned my village. They did not take me, and I don't know why. My family, they are gone. And I don't know if they are alive or dead. I don't know if I will ever see them again. Sometimes, I just don't want to be alive.
Hi, my name is Blessing Oreva Ozero. I am 24 years old. The game that you sit down playing all day, every day, till you fall asleep and start snoring like a big bear. I wish you even got it for yourself. I wish you would stand up, get up, go do something for yourself, anything at all. And honestly, I don't care what it is. And even if you don't find anything at all, anything, I just wish for once in my miserable two years of marriage, I wish for once you would make me feel like your wife. At least. Because I don't deserve this. And to God who made me, I do not deserve you. John Eddie Tamano is my name. I'm an actor, a producer. Uh, 41 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so, all this while I was thinking you're joking. You've been forcing me. You still want me to say? Guy, I'm not saying anything. Let bygone be. Honestly, let it be. Okay, if you insist. Well, I've been sleeping with my kids, sister. It didn't start today. It started when I was 19 and she was barely 15. You see, our parents never cared about us. All they did was pay for school fees, buy textbooks, sew uniforms. No love, nothing. And when they eventually died in a car accident, it was remaining just I and my sister. I was doing everything for her, ranging from washing her clothes, cooking for her, feeding her. Even when she saw her period the first time, she, she spoke to me about it and I told her what to do. See, I did everything for her and she fell for me. I never need to get to that extent. And when we eventually do the do, she, she took him. You know, days got to weeks, weeks to months, and before you know it, nine months was there. The night moved and one day I went to house to suddenly they called me, I picked the phone and Wow! You have delivered! I said <sighs> Finally I was gonna have my own baby and name the baby after my dad. No, I can't name the baby after my dad. I said, okay, I'm gonna give the baby Junior. You know? I said, yeah, Junior and <sighs> I returned and somebody dragged with my mind and said, My uncle is aware of all this. He called me and cautioned me and said, do you know the danger in what you're doing? I said, Uncle, I know, but it has already happened. I don't know what to do again. But eventually, the baby kept growing and suddenly sad news came. They, they called me and said, I don't know what the mom did and he was crossing the road. He got knocked by a car. <laughs> See me rejoicing. Now I'm without the same song I claim to have. But come to think of it, I was thinking the baby is a baby of misfortune and could go. <sighs> what else do you want me to say? Should I continue? My name is Aret Orwa. I'm 16 years old. Oh, God. How can they just go out? They won't leave food in the house. And you know, I've gone out since morning. I've been walking under the sun and I have come here now. There is nothing to eat. There is no food stuff. So what do I do? I'm even trying to call their number is not going. My name is Jennifer Kemi Martins. I'm 27 years old. You look at me and tell me you've been standing with me for 18 years? Well, I've been standing with you. I've got a life too. I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you. Don't you think I ever wanted other things? Don't you think I had dreams and hope? What about my life? What about me? Don't you think it ever crossed my mind to want to know other men? That I wanted to lay up somewhere, forget about my responsibilities. I wanted to, someone to make me laugh so I could feel good. 
You're not the only one who's got wants and needs, but I held up to you, Troy. I took all my feelings, my wants and needs and dreams. I planted a seed and watched and prayed. I planted a seed and buried it inside you. It ain't take me no 18 years to realize that that soil was hard and rocky and it just never got the blue. It go better, it go better. Why do you want better? I'm fighting for a divorce. My name is Malum Arikmun. I'm a 24-year-old from Plateau State. Mean something to who? You had a career, bro. Before the third comic book movie. Before people started to forget who was inside that bird costume. Bro, you're doing a play based on a book that was written 60 years ago for a thousand rich old white people who don't give a shit about you. They only care where they go to get their coffee and cake when it's over. Bro, nobody cares but you. And let's face it, you're not doing this for the sake of art. You're doing this because you want to feel relevant. Okay? Because you won't blow again. When my boss your head, there's an entire world out there where people fight to be relevant every single day and you're here acting like it doesn't exist. Things are happening, bro, in a place that you ignore. A place that, by the way, has already forgotten about you. I mean, who the fuck are you? You hate bloggers. You mock Twitter. Bro, you don't even have a Facebook page. It, how would you have a Facebook page in this day and age? You're the one who doesn't exist, bro. You're doing this because you're scared. Do you fear? Scared to death like the rest of us that you don't matter. But you're right about something. You don't. This is not important. You, bro, are not important. You're even gonna wake your ass up and see that. Grow up, man. I'm sorry I say Joy, I am you. I'm 27 years old. Who ate my food? I've been keeping this food like who ate it? I just came back from work and I'm so hungry. Who ate my food? Joshua! Who ate my food? Oh my god, I'm so hungry. <sighs> my name is Becky Kuje. I'm 25 years old. Emmy, what am I seeing on Instagram? Is this your wedding? photos I'm seeing on Instagram. I was scrolling down and then I bumped into your wedding pictures. How could you do this to me, Emmy? How could you do this to me? After five years of dating you, you left me, you dumped me for a girl I don't even know where she came out from. What did I do to you? I've been faithful, I've been loyal. What did I ever do to you? Why would you treat me this way? Why will you abandon me for a girl? Is she more prettier than I am? Is she more prettier than I am? Emmy, answer me. Answer me, what did I do to you? What did I do to you? Oh my God, Emmy. <laughs> I'm by name Juliana Gabriel. I'm 23. Daddy, you left me all alone in this world. I thought you said you were going to stay with me. I looked everywhere, but you were nowhere to be found. This world doesn't seem as it is. Life is hard. I have to do things that I'm not supposed to do. I had to grow up. I had to work. I had to do so many things at my age. I just had to grow up to make ends meet. You left us with no money. You left mom alone. What was I supposed to do? Daddy, please. This is the stage of my life where I need you most. I, wherever you are, I know you can hear me. Please. I just need to speak to you. I just need to hear you. I know you're somewhere around and you can hear me. Just speak to me. Just say something to me. I want to give up. I'm tired. I don't know where to go to. My friends left me. I have no other place to go to. Please, Daddy, just say something to me. Well, my name is Otumba Olufemi Ojoye. I'm 55 years old. Ah, uh ah, -uh. children of nowadays. Calm down. Calm down. Ah, uh ah. -uh. 
You have two ears and one mouth. You know what that means? Speak once and listen twice. Eh? Eh? And you must know, the KBSC is a good listener. It will listen to you. You don't need to raise your voice. You don't need to go into violence over every issue. All you need is to listen and you'll be better informed. Kabiesi, uh, Kabiesi, uh, you know it's against our tradition. It's against our tradition. We don't allow women to sit with elders in council, especially young ladies. And then uh, you know the consequences. You know the consequences. Hmm. Songs of war. Remember? Songs of war. I went to the fourteen family. And I'm sure you will not want that to happen to you. However, we need to explain to these younger ones for them to really understand our tradition and the culture. We don't hate them. We appreciate them. In fact, they are the leaders of tomorrow. They are the ones that will take up from wherever we lift it. Kabiesi, please, see them as your children. Kabiesi, I'm appealing on their behalf. See them as your children and please give them listening ears. My name is Kelvin Afami Funa Praise. I'm 35 years of age. October 1974, which actually the day I will never forget. Four armed gunned men came to my house, shot my wife, killed my only child and my security. That is when I knew that this life is wicked. What is this world turning into? I don't even know what to say. It actually hurts me. That life is so cruel to me. Sometimes I think on my own to know if revenge is actually the best option for me. <sighs> Looking at these pictures of my war, I just have to move on. I know where my family may be at this moment. They want me to move on. I think that's what I will do. Hi guys, my name is Patience James Ibuchi. I'm 19 years. You keep saying get out as if this house belongs to you. In case you've forgotten, let me remind you, bro. 2003, sentence to life imprisonment, blah, blah, blah. Does it ring a bell? When you were incapacitated and I have to do every single thing in my power to get you out. Oh, you don't remember. Because you are as dumb, as shallow as ever. I can't believe I have to sleep with those old sats just to get you out. So bro, if you want me to get out of this house, I'm living with every single thing inside this mansion because I own it. You don't own anything inside this house. My name is Christian Roberts. I'm 30 years old. Bro, me I don't like all these things where you go they do like say you don't know you just they do like say your face no show. Okay, make your face show, make your shoe for shine. Anything where you do make it use that condition. Don't say now we don't face first, bros. No, they bring all those kind when they come and say that's a day like this over here, bros. Now we for me and Sabi. If you don't say no get away for the bar, bros, just do. Look at do my idea. Okay, I don't get time for this one. All the other say they say bros. I just do my thing. If you don't say no get level, bros, no even come and say that's a day like this now, bar. Now movement I do. We for the yeah, we they go. My name is Sonia, I'm 27. I think the problem you have right now is your attitude. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, but you have a stinky attitude and you should work on it. Uh, you're my friend, but I have to tell you the truth. You have to work on yourself because you can't keep hurting people and you expect them not to react. No vex, but seriously, 
work on your attitude. The other day, you almost hit Ola. I had to tell you to like, I just had to start using my eyes and everything to talk to you. You don't, you don't act that way. It's wrong. But then again, who am I? You are always right. So I'll just keep quiet and let you do your thing. Don't be angry oh, before you stop talking to me. I'm, I just want to advise you as a friend. My name is Abdesalam Barak. I'm 28 years old. Oga, I beg. Oga, Oga, I beg. I know really Lee Killia. I know really Lee Killia, I swear to God. I met her on Instagram and we started chatting. I never knew she, she has chatted all my friends on Instagram. That was why, bro. And she came out from all the way from South Africa, sir. She came all the way from South Africa. She came all the way from South Africa, sir. Please. She was HIV positive. She infected everybody I know on my Instagram list. Sir, I didn't wait to kill her, sir. After I, after I went to the hospital, after I went to the hospital, after I went to the hospital to do tests, they told me I was HIV positive. So that was the reason why I took loss into my hands, sir, please. Sir, please help. Please help me, sir. I don't want to die. I don't want to rot in prison, sir. Please, sir, please help my life, sir. Sir, please help my life. I'm the only breadwinner of our family, please, sir. Sir, please help your blood, please, sir, please. I even know the situation I'm feeling now. I'm just feeling like I'm not in the world anymore, sir, please. Sir, please. My name is Barbara Daniel Udo. I am 26 years old. Means something to who? Dad, you had a career. You had a career before the third comic book movie. Before people started to forget who was inside that bird costume. You did a play based on a book that was written 60 years ago for a thousand rich old white people whose only real concern is where they're going to have their cake and coffee when it's over. Nobody gives a shit but you. And let's face it, Dad, you're not doing this for the sake of art. You're doing this because you want to feel relevant again. Well, guess what? There's an entire world out there where people fight every single day just to be relevant. And you sit there and act like it doesn't exist. Things are happening in a world that you ignore. In a world that, by the way, has already forgotten about you. I mean, who the fuck are you, Dad? You hate Twitter. You mock bloggers. You don't even have a Facebook page. That you're the one who doesn't even exist. You're only doing this because you're scared to death like the rest of us. That you don't matter. And you know what? You're right. You don't. It's not important, okay? You're not important. Get used to it! My name is Sadiq Ibrahim. I'm 23 years old. Hello, Mustafa. I'm calling you on behalf of my merchandise. I've been hearing rumors how you play around with my merchandise. Well, tell the boys that I'm getting ready and we are all going out for business. And the 100,000, I promise everyone, we all have to play along because this is business and it's going to be strictly business. So nobody should play with my merchandise. And from now on, we all gonna work with numbers. If you don't meet up, you're out. Hope you enjoy that. That's just the part two. Subscribe to Afrista Media on YouTube to enjoy more episodes of the auditions. <laughs>